What's up, y'all? It's your boy Showtime Doctor. Been quite a while, hasn't it? I hope over these last five or so years, life's treating you a lot better than back when I used to be more active. But speaking on active, I actually got into the Sword of Con Valeria creator program. The proof is right there behind me, so I am going to put my all into covering this game, getting you guys the guides like I used to, getting you guys ahead of the game so that you can do things even with even if you don't have the uber units i actually have support now uh, and a couple different things i'm in a much better place in my life a uh, better place with where i live being stable and i actually have a supporter that's just as passionate on games as i am and he wants to get into this really hard so uh, we'll get into more on that, but now that I'm officially sponsored, I actually have a bunch of incentives to get you guys the deeds, obviously, so... And if you haven't heard, sort of Convalaria, it's a lot like uh, Final Fantasy Tactics from back in the day, and you know Square's been slow on uh, giving us a true successor to the War of the Lions Final Fantasy Tactics all the way back from like 1998. And what they did give us was basically the Alchemist Code game, which of course no one wanted. Final Fantasy Tactics 2. You could argue that the combat was good. I didn't like the judge system and the story was garbage, just to put it lightly. So I think I actually have to watch my language since I'm a official creator. <laughs> but anyway, so let me show you a little bit about this game. And I hope you'll join me on this journey. <laughs>平和を語る暴力が後を絶たなかった。So there is a closed beta that's going to be happening in less than a day from when this video is posted. If you want to go ahead and register for it, the button's right here in the upper right of the website. I'll have a link in the description. And as you... I forgot the website has music. <laughs> you get down here, you can see what it plays on. And then you just put your email in here and you go ahead and send it. Uh, just so you know, a little bit of insider info, you apparently do have a better chance of getting in if you want to play on Windows. Uh, not to say that it's exclusive, of course there's going to be people with phones, but that's just insider information, so... I don't know how they're going to gauge that, but that's just what I've heard. They really want to test the Windows client to make sure it works. That's very important to them right now. There is as well a demo on the Steam page, which it is available on Steam if you want to weigh your appetite that way and don't necessarily want to go or you can't get into the closed beta. It lets you get in pretty far and experience a lot of the game's modes. The modes in this game, there are so many modes, like I'm gonna have to make so many videos just to go over them all, but of course you got your typical PvE, PvP, but there's so much different pve like there's a whole world that you basically build from scratch and it doesn't matter what units you have you go into this world you build your little town up and you recruit units from that word world the upgrade systems unique to that word the currency systems unique to that world and there's just a whole bunch of other things i'm i'm like busting my butt just trying to do research on everything i can for this game for you guys so i can get you the right information so that when that release date hits, like you see down below there, in about five weeks, we're going to be ready to go and hit the ground running. That's what I'm all about. So like I said to you guys, this is going to be a very complicated game. Uh, I'm looking forward to learning a lot more about it in the closed beta, but 
From what I could see, the graphics are great, the music, a lot of the music you hear right now is music that's in the game. Um, the storyline looks amazing, and if you don't care about any of that, you just want to whale, you just want to get in the PvP, you just want to know certain game modes, certain units, I'm going to cover everything for you. I'm going to do my utmost to get you the information, to get you the power, to get whatever it is you want out of the game. I don't care if it's waifus, husbandos, you want to dominate in PvP, you want to collect all the pets or whatever the heck's going to be in this game. I'm going to be there for you to help you acquire that knowledge to get closer to what you want. So, um, I already got like a bunch of tabs going, a bunch of information. I'm watching a lot of the stuff from the, the actual server. And I think it's in Taiwan actually that they, uh, they've had going for a little over a year. I think it, at this point. And yeah, I just can't wait. Cause this game looks like it has so much great action. Uh, assassin units, physical damage units, there's summoners, of course there's magic, tanks, lots of environmental effects to exploit and take advantage of, tons of different game modes, so if you find yourself not liking a certain one, don't worry, there's plenty more out there for you, so there's like a tower climb, there's going to be weekly events, and we're going to go through everything. We're going to go through build guides, reroll guides. We're actually going to have a uh, non-legendary account as well. So I'm going to have one that has all the normal units, and I'm going to have one that does not have the normal units, does not pull on the weapon banner. Or, excuse me, when I say normal units, I mean legendary units. It's going to be a... Well, if you don't have this legendary unit, you can use these units, and here's how they work and how effective they are and team synergies and all the things that are just going to be very important in this game there's factions in this game there's buffs that only go off on certain characters of that certain faction or group however they're going to classify it in this game there's time manipulation all types of currencies all types of stuff going on in this game so if you enjoy tactical rpgs you enjoy story you enjoy pvp whatever it's going to be I'm going to cover it from the uh, normal, you know, legendaries pe for people who like the whale point of view. I'm also going to put out a video series, like I said, for free to play, uh, free to play friendly. From what I've seen, this game's very free to play friendly. More on that in follow up videos coming up. But I just want you guys to know I'm going to put everything I got into this. And if I haven't sold you by now, why are you still here? <laughs> so. I cannot wait to see the story in this game, though, personally. I'm going to enjoy the story. I'm going to enjoy certain characters. UI looks really good from what I experienced. I enjoy the little bit of uh, time dilation plot that was in the demo that they had on Steam. And just looking forward to learning about this game and sharing, sharing that journey with you. So it's been great to see you all again. And hopefully uh, this is a jo another journey that we can go on together. So... Good to be back, and I will catch you again real soon. Be looking for videos, whatever. I'm not sure they're going to let us stream, or not necessarily stream, but even share what's in the closed beta, but um, there's already videos out there for, like, Taiwanese server and stuff like that, so there's stuff to learn. So there's stuff that's already out there. I am going to be able to get you guides for that as soon as I'm, like, 100% sure, okay, this information's correct. This information's on point. These units are worth investing in if you're playing from this air, this way or this way. Uh, there's all types of like leveling systems, advancement systems, gearing, what have you. And like I said, there's tower system, build your own base. The PVP currency is limited, so that's good information to know as well. I'm just gonna be sharing this. We'll, we'll go over all this over the course of the next couple months. So look forward to seeing you all there. Take care.